Hi, I'm Benjamin, author of Master Math Models and Lead Tutor at Trinity Learning Centre. Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to do the PSLE Math 2024 questions that involves hearts and stars. All right, so I suppose some of you who did it may have tried using uh, guess and check, and, and that's perfectly fine. But if not, then what is the way to do it? Well, I will tell you that one way that you can do this is by using grouping. Okay. But how are we going to do that? Okay, let's begin. Huh? Let me show you how it's done. First, we want to underline the keywords, of course, right? So the keywords here are a teacher pinned 22 hearts and two stars on the board. Then after that, each student will come up and place either five hearts or eight stars. So five hearts, no stars, or eight stars, no hearts. They have to choose. Everybody comes up and does this. And in the end, there were an equal number of hearts and stars. The question is, what is the fewest possible number of students in this class? So how do we answer this? Okay, first of all, let's be organized. Let's write down that uh, the hearts already has got 22 and the stars already has got two. So basically, the first thing you want to ask yourself is, how far apart are these two numbers? Well, why, why is this important? Because we want to make sure that since there are an equal number of hearts and stars in the end, we want to make sure that the stars are able to catch up with the hearts. Okay, so since there are 22 hearts and two stars, so I take 22 minus 2 and I get 20. Okay, then let's consider if there were an equal number of people coming up to put hearts and stars. So one person puts hearts, five hearts, the next person puts eight stars, the next person puts five hearts, the next person puts eight stars, and so on and so forth. So five, eight, five, eight. What would happen if you do that? Well, if you were to do that, and you were to put five, eight, five, eight, five eight basically what you're saying is that every time this happens you are going to put eight minus five or simply an extra three stars and there will be an additional three stars here and another three stars here another three stars here and eventually because the person putting the stars is always more than the hearts the stars is behind by 20 will eventually catch up with the hearts. That sounds reasonable, right? But the problem we are facing now is this. You see, 3, 3, 3 means that the person putting the stars will always be able to catch up with the person putting the hearts based on a multiple of 3. But I know that the difference is 20. And 20 is not a multiple of 3. This is not a multiple of 3. Yet, I know that 8 minus 5 will give me 3. So then, we will never get a solution if we were to have an equal number of students putting hearts and stars. And since we will never get a solution, we know that the number of students putting hearts and stars are not equal. So we know one thing for certain, the number of students putting hearts and stars, the students are not equal. So we need to make it such that the difference between these two numbers is a multiple of 3. So let's try something. If I were to add 5 here and get 27, this means I'm assuming I have an additional student that puts hearts. And I take 27 and I minus away the 2, I get a number, 25, which is not a multiple of 3. So this obviously doesn't solve the problem. 
Moreover, if I want the person putting the hearts to catch up with the pe with the students putting the, the sorry, if I want the students putting the stars to catch up with the students putting the hearts so that they can become equal, I need more students putting stars. So obviously this is not going to work. So I'm going to take this away. All right. So this is like a mental process, but I'm writing it here for you to understand. Okay. So now we know that it has to be probably an extra student putting stars. And if this extra student were to put stars, then now I would have 10 stars. And the hearts is still 22 because nobody came up to put uh, hearts. And now if I were to take 22 minus 10, I will now get 12 instead. And lo and behold, 12 is a multiple of 3. Okay, so now we kind of solved that problem. So now then the next question is, if 8 minus 5 will give you an addition of 3, how many of these 3s do I need to make up for the difference of 12? So 12 is the total difference now that you need to catch up. And 3 is the difference per one group. Okay, one group meaning one student who puts eight hearts, uh, eight stars, and one student who puts five stars five uh, hearts okay so now if I were to take these two numbers that I just mentioned and I were to divide them I would get four groups okay simply put this it represents one group a second group a third group a fourth group so four groups and the difference is always three okay of course in your exam you don't need to write this huh? this portion here that I'm writing is just to explain to you so you can see how it works so these numbers add together these numbers add together to form the 12 that we were looking for and now we know that there are four groups and that means I have four oops I wrote a four below so this should be a five it means that I have four students who put this four students who put this plus an additional student who put the eight stars at first so in total how many students do I have well, again, there are two ways to do this. One way is you can just simply count it. That's eight. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Or you can say that since there are four groups, then each group having two pupils, one putting hearts, one putting stars, will give me eight pupils. What's the word they use? Students. Okay, let's stick to that word. Eight students in four groups plus the additional student that put the stars okay so eight plus one will give you nine students and that is the answer to this question okay now if you want a printable version of this you can join my telegram group where I'll put in links to get the printable version and uh, also if you want to contact me for any help, any questions, uh, my number is in the description. And uh, do look out for the other videos. I'll be working on all the other questions. And remember to subscribe because that would really, really help me to make this channel useful for more students like you. Okay, I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you at the other questions. Take care. Bye-bye.